Welcome back. Good matchup in Triton tonight. The Pine Island Panthers on the road at the Cobras. Third quarter, P.I. down by a touchdown. QB Nick Grandy picked off by Francis Price. The Price is right. It's a pick six for the Cobras. All of a sudden, they're up 20-7, to seven, but the Panthers would not be deterred. Later in the half, Grandy goes up top to big Matt Horky. Get the big fellow the ball because he's not going down. He bludgeons his way into the end zone. P.I. down, just a touchdown, and hey, it worked once. Why wouldn't it work again? Again, Grandy goes deep, finds Horky, the big fella delivers, hauling it in for the touchdown as the Panthers got back in this game. This game was an absolute thriller. It went to overtime, I believe. Pine Island had to go for two. They did not convert, so Triton won that one 31-29. Elsewhere, Fillmore Central with a big win at home over Faribault BA. They win that one by a final score of 19-8. Other scores from around the area, Lewis and Alturo rides uh, three touchdowns from Colin Bono to a 21-14 win over Caledonia. Blooming Prairie beats WEM 47-0 earlier this week. Drew Kittleson, the quarterback for Blooming Prairie, committed to play college football at Minnesota State Mankato, where he will play wide receiver. Next, nothing in from NRHEG in St. Clair, Loyola. Lanesboro, number four in the state, moved up one spot this week. They beat Houston by 48 points, 48 to nothing. Elsewhere, nothing in from Mabel Canton and Kingsland. Coach, you got a call. Uh, Leroy Ostrander, big win for them after lo uh, losing last week to Lanesboro. They beat the number one team in the state. Final score in that one, 33 to six. Bid win down in Leroy Ostrander. Southland, they go on the road. They beat Lyle Pacelli, 56 to eight. Grand Meadow beat Spring Grove in a big matchup, 20 to 17. I'm told Grand Meadow had two special teams touchdowns that loomed big in that one and the upset win there for the Larks. Do we have any more scores or are we done? Nope. Okay, tomorrow's football game. Austin on the road at Owatonna. 1 p.m. kickoff in Owatonna. Going to be a great game. Hayfield 0-3 on the road at Kenyon Wanamingo. That game kicks off at noon. And we have one more out west. USC host, or goes on the road. They're going to go to Alden Conger, Glenville, Emmons, that one kicks off at 3 p.m. Now, to junior college football, weather forced the fifth-ranked RCTC Yellow Jackets walkthrough indoors today. Tomorrow, the Jackets are on the road at Minnesota West. RCTC looks to roll some momentum from last week into this week. Last Saturday, the Jackets scored 71 points to pick up their third win of the season. Tomorrow, they take on 1-3 Minnesota West. Head coach Derek Hintz wants the Jackets to keep their foot on the gas. I've told them, I said, this is a trap game for us. This is a game that if we stumble, it, it will trap us. So, you know, we've been real focused. We've had a real good week of practice. You know, again, I hopefully hopefully we travel well tomorrow, a little bit shorter bus ride. And, you know, we just treat every opponent, you know, week week by week. Kickoff tomorrow in Worthington is at 1.30 p.m. It's RCTC's second road game of the season. Now to NCAA football tomorrow. P.J. Fleck and the Golden Gophers host Bowling Green. Ozmakers say the Ghosts are 31-point favorites. The Gophers enter the game with a 21-game non-conference win streak, the longest in the country in Division II. 2-1 Winona State on the road at Mary. That game kicks off at 2 p.m. The Warriors lost last week 29-23 to Minnesota Duluth. And lastly, back to high school football. Our KTDC Play of the Week goes out to the Byron Bears duo of Nick Netsky and James Durst for this touchdown against Storville. We're going to... Take another look at this one. This is a play executed to absolute perfection. It's, it's good defense. It's just better offense as the Bears struck through the air. We're going to take, I think we have two more looks at this one. Not the highest percentage play, but when it works, it is almost unstoppable. I think we got one more glance at it. So thank you to Nick Netsky and James Durst. One more time. Boom. There it is. This week's KTTC Play of the Week. Nick, help us out on Sports Extra tonight. How'd hey, it go? Hey, JM uh, Mayo, Mayo, roll. Good time. All yes. right, we'll see you again next week. Have a good one.